Hi, this is Devin Chu, the creator of Lazy Gallery Blueprint. With the latest update introduced for the product, um, the Blueprint is now able to properly be used in uh, Sequencer without much of the modification. And here's just a short video to show you guys how to do that step by step. Um, before, I, before I start, I have to apologize again uh, about the uh, the delay on this update um, as um, circumstances um, goes it's been uh, really tough for me to uh, find time to probably support you guys well, um, with this fix but i hope with this major update um, that will wrap up the uh, the, the, the late the last um, uh, fix for this product and make it good for everyone to use in different um, purposes and another uh, apology again that uh, it's actually my first time recording my own voice inside a video so if i couldn't make myself clear or if there's any more questions that you guys want me to answer um just feel free to shoot me an email i'll i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and yeah let's get started so inside the product um, you will find a updated demo same level with the sequencer example uh, placed on the very right side of all the cubes uh, environment and here you can see now i have three uh, lazy gallery blueprints already placed with two of them already driven by the sequencer so as i scrub um, my track you can see the colors of the gallery has indeed been changed and updated and in order to do uh, the same thing for my third um, actor, I'll just do the uh, all the typical step-by-step -step of adding a new actor to sequencer. And then here, since the parameter won't get updated automatically, we need to add a new event repeater track to remind sequencer to apply the uh, a very, uh, the numbers we set over here on our parameters and update them to the uh, uh, components inside the blueprint. In order to do that, do that you click on add track. Uh, in, inside events, you find uh, event repeater. Let's start a new track. Let's just drag this till so it populates the whole uh, track over here. Right click on it inside properties and you'll find events and here there's no events bound to this uh, event repeater track yet so here we just left click on it and let's do a quick bind and inside lazy gallery you'll find a class event called on changing gallery parameters so let's click on it and in here you'll see um, more settings um, pop up now so if you want to scrub and play test your sequencer um, sequence uh, inside editor without playing um, the game um, you have to check this call in editor in order to do so and for performance reasons um, by default update spotlight is disabled so if you're also making changes to the spotlight component inside the blueprint, uh, you have to make sure you also check this um, Boolean uh, variable here. So with that being said now, let's just do that. Now this blueprint actor is ready for, um, to be key and driven by the sequencer. Um, let's try that. I just add a overall tinting color to it and then in here I can just start doing some keying and changing the color if I want to just like that and then I just go change it back again so as you can see now the the third guard ray blueprint has probably driven by sequencer. And since I've also set the sequence 
to be uh, played automatically on start and loop. You can see that once I hit play, uh, it's also playing quite nicely now without. So that's the update um, I made to um, the blueprint. And I hope that will help out uh, many of you guys who uh, would like to use this blueprint for semantic and sequencer purpose. And before I wrap up, um, I'd also want to um, remind you guys about a few little quality of life changes I made to the blueprint. So now because of this feature, um, I've now set the blueprint to be uh, movable for its mobility settings by default, even including the spotlight. And so you, under the spotlight section, you'll see a new parameter called spotlight mobility, which by default is set to movable. And as many of you uh, who understand the lighting, lighting system in Unreal, when your light mobility is set to static and stationary settings, um, the, uh, the, it's not as uh, flexible when it comes to changing the settings here and there. As a matter of fact, you can't really change anything for spot uh, for when it's set to static. And so uh, with that being said, that's why I, by default, I set it to movable uh, for you guys now. And so for people who want to use this blueprint um, for its original purpose, which is to set it for a static placement as a set dressing and mood enhancing actor, um, I will strongly recommend you to come find this uh, setting and switch it back to either static or stationary again. So yeah, so that will wrap up this video. And I have to thank you guys again for the ongoing support for this product. And moving forward, I I don't I I probably won't update this product uh, in any major ways. Uh, again but uh, if you do find any uh, bugs or any questions regarding how to uh, utilize this uh, blueprint for your project uh, feel free to email me um, and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and last but not least i have to apologize again for the delay on this update and um, i i hope that um uh, I'll, 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 I'll hope that um, when, with the next product coming to my, um, my store um, that I'll find more time to be uh, more responsive with you guys. And yeah, and I guess that's it. And I hope you guys have um, a great 2022. Thank you. Bye.